Is it fair to call the Patriots cheaters? Yes, and liars too, I think. Or at least they cheated and lied, it seems to me. Um, let me quote, read you something from 2015 Business Insider article, okay? S about the Patriots cheating. Soon, advanced scouts would be sent to the games of upcoming Patriots opponents to film the play signals. The scouts would go undercover as media members with media credentials listed under Patriots TV or Kraft Productions and, importantly, were prepared with excuses of what to say if they were filming and security asked, right? Look, guys, what happened? What just happened? And by the way, according to Diana Rossini's uh, reporting, like, when the, when the videographer gets busted, he says, by the way, the whole first quarter filming the Patriots, uh, the, the, the Bengals' sideline, Bengals, new, new head coach, by the way, not a lot of tape on them, right? Like, you want advanced kind of, you want to get as much information as possible. He, he asked if he could delete it and we could forget the whole thing. Can we delete it and forget the whole thing? And now the Patriots give the exact excuse they were giving in 2015. Guys, what do you think is going on? Look, it's like the Astros. The Astros are an advanced organization. That's why they're so good. One of the reasons, they value information. But their ethics are not only questionable, but it seems to me rotten in terms of how to do it. Like, I understand if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I get that. But there are different ways of doing that. If you're stealing signs of baseball players, you know, stealing signs. Of, but if you have a, at, only at your home stadium a camera pointed at the signs, that's an advantage that can't be du duplicated by the other team, can't be replicated while they're playing you at, at your house. And can't be blocked. There's nothing you can do to stop it except to stop them from cheating. Well, this is the same sort of thing. They're using technology and, and with the same playbook. And if we don't call them on it... Now, other people may also say, I've heard this argument, well, everyone's doing it. The Patriots are just clumsy at it. No, I, I, they're clumsy at nothing. They're excellent at it. You know what they say about roaches? For every one you see, there are a hundred in the walls. You know what this means to me? that the Patriots, who are better at everything than everyone, organizationally, this tells me, if they're the only ones getting caught repeatedly like this, that they are doing stuff like this all over the place, all the time. That's what this says to me. You took it like a movie. It's, it, you feel like it's a, it's a movie story or a storyline to a movie. I, listen, I think whatever you thought of the Patriots before this story broke yesterday afternoon... Whether you thought they were cheaters and believed all the things of the past or whatnot, you're just going to continue to use this as fuel for your fire. This was not going to sway you. And if you didn't, if you stood on the other side, because there's two groups to this in the belief of the Patriots. Either they are cheaters or they aren't, right? If you're on the side where you don't think there's any truth to it and you think that they are just pushing the envelope and still are within the standards or the rules and, and uh, you know they're the team that's just getting singled out, this isn't going to change that either. This is just going to give you confirmation bias. I don't, this is, this is not, is this situation any more egregious? Where are you What do you it? think? <clears throat> I don't think that the Patriots are cheating. I think that he's the smartest coach of all time. I think that the quarterback is the smartest quarterback of all time. I don't think that those guys, two guys, would be that dumb and that negligible and that kind of uh, lacking of any kind of attention to detail that they would repetitively get caught. And also the Bengals are one in 11 or one in 12. I don't, I, I don't, I don't think that they're cheating. No, but I don't know all the, the evidence why or the, what why this the camera guy want to delete, delete the footage. I, I, that's all speculative, right? Like that's, that, that is, I, I, if the the reality I believe that's is, on film. I believe him right. asking to, to delete the footage. I think I'm the not reality sure is that. that the tape will show a lot. The tape will show a lot. <sighs> Guys, guys, guys. You know, Max, you think they're cheating. Um, and you don't want to say that they're cheating. <laughs> Allow me to say this. I don't care. This is absolutely funny to me. I'm, I'm just watching the seriousness of everybody going, hey, USA Today, my brother, the great Jared Bell does a great job covering the NFL. Hey, they they got to do something. I mean, I, mean, everybody, I mean, everybody going off. I, Lord knows my caller Carlton on my radio show, my little bit of, of Tampa. God forbid, I've never seen a person that hate the Patriots more in my life. God, think, God forbid what he's thinking right now. But this is the thing that makes me laugh. Do you know what Bill Belichick's record is with the New England Patriots? It's 235 and 82. 235 and 82. From 2000, it is now 2019. Y'all ain't figure it out?
I'm talking about the NFL coaches out there. Why the hell are you not doing whatever it is that he's doing? Because he's still here. He's still here. That and doesn't make no, and, hey, hey, listen, you can say whatever you want. I don't give a damn. I'm going to tell you why I don't give a damn. Because where's your evidence? I mean, Roger Goodell sitting up there. Remember, they took tape. They never showed it to the media. We still haven't seen those tapes from, from, from Spotgate. We heard about what they were doing. And, oh, by the way, Dan Van Natta Jr., Seth Wickersham for ESPN back in the day with Spygate. This is exactly what they wrote. Allow me to read you a graph from what they wrote, Max. Molly, Dan, listen to this. This is what, how it's all similar to Spygate. Now, what's similar to Spygate? This is about Spygate back then. Sources with knowledge of the system say an advanced scout would attend the game of upcoming Patriot opponents and assemble a spreadsheet of all the signals and corresponding plays. The scout would give it to Adams, who would spend most of the week in his office with the door closed, matching the notes to the tapes filmed from the sidelines. Files were created, organized by opponent and by coach. During games, Walsh later told investigators the Patriots videographers were told to look like media members to tape over their team logos or turn their sweatshirts inside out to wear credentials that said Patriots TV or Kraft Production. Yeah, same thing I read. Exactly. I'm saying it's identical to what we're talking about right now. So my point is this. Evidently, and evidently they ain't worried too much about the repercussions. And if they ain't worried about the repercussions, and this happened back in 2007, and it's 2019, and you still ain't worried about the repercussions, then why the hell ain't y'all doing it? I don't want excuses. This, to me, is setting up for somebody to sit up there and say, the Patriots are cheaters, they've been cheaters, they're always going to be cheaters, etc. Do something about oh, it. Here, here, here's what it is. Do You're something. saying there should be a race to the bottom. I'm saying, and I think, you know, it's, it's wise to take the position that when the bad guys are caught, the behavior has to be corrected. There have to be repercussions, or it is a race to the bottom. Okay. You don't want a world where everyone is cheating I all don't the time. either. I you don't either. I swear you're rules. right. I- Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.